Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. First of all guys, it's obviously uh, Christmas at the time I'm recording this video. Um, I'm gonna go straight, short and sweet on it. Um, yeah, first of all, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, probably the last video for this year guys on this channel, not for the end, only for this year. And uh, without anything further ado guys, in this video guys I'm gonna show you how you can connect your PS4 controller to your Yuzu switch emulator so that you can have motion control, vibration, support and uh, so on. Um, without anything further ado guys, let's hop to my desktop and let me show you how to get the job done. See you there. Alright guys, as we at my desktop right now, the first thing we're going to need to do, we need to, we need to connect our PS4 controller to our PC. So what we need to do guys, we need to go here, go to bloaters, go for more settings, add device, and you go for Bluetooth, this one here. So what you need to do guys to add to put our PS4 controller to pairing mode, we need to put press this button here, the placing one button and the share button. Press them at the same time. And it should blink like that. When this happens, your PC should uh, uh, detect your controller. It's right here. Click on it. Wait a little bit. That is wireless controller connected. Your device is ready to go. Press undone. Close this. <clears throat> now the second thing is we need to go to Yuzu. Wait for it to load. Go to emulation. Configuration. Go to controllers. And connect connected controller, pro controller guys. And for you, it should be like this: input device any, click on it, and you should show, you should see DualShock 4 controller. Select it, and then you good to go. As you might see, for my controllers, I go uh, right and left. The four, this this box in the middle of the controller is moving. Everything moves as it's supposed to. And in case, in case guys, uh, you connected your controller to your PC and you did go to same music like I did right now and you go to input device and you don't see your dual, dual, DualShock 4 controller, simply just go to your Windows and uh, restart it and it should show up. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go to a game and see if it's going to work. I'm going to choose Super Mario Odyssey here. Load it up, and this is actually the second time I'm recording the video. If I'm gonna be honest with you, because I muted my mic, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, pretty much it's a little bit behind the scene. Spiele mit zwei entfernten Joy-Cons. Er ist in German, guys. I do speak and talk German and understand German. And while I'm going up and down, I even feel the vibration here. Spiel fortsetzen. Geheimes Blumenfeldfahrt for those German viewers, you know. In case, okay, überspringen, skipping. As you might see, so I move the controller, Mario moves, whatnot. And now, here, the moment of truth if I toss the controller, Mario does this tossing thingy. One more time. There you go. That's pretty much it. Um, let's close it. Yes. With this all said, guys, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day and barrels. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey. And I'm freaking out here. But without that, guys, once again, wish you a happy new year. Merry Christmas. It's probably Christmas at the day and uh, as I record this video. It's 24th, but it is Christmas, I think. Almost. Um, yeah, and uh, thank you so much for your support, guys. Thanks for the subscription and whatnot, and all the good stuff and thingies this year. And uh, as I said, guys, I'm gonna see you next year, 2024. And uh, yes, I'm freeing out for you. <laughs> Peace.